Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Asta and Bansri. Today we are going to learn Chapter 1 Maps and Globes in my wonderful book of Social Studies Class 5 Karvoda. So before we start the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel Asta and Bansri if you are new. And click on the bell icon all notification to get the notification first whenever I upload a new video. So let's start. Chapter number one, Maps and Globes. The Earth is the only planet in our solar system that supports life as it has air and water. Our Earth has land masses and water bodies. The big land masses are called continents. And the water bodies are called oceans. There are smaller water bodies like river, lakes, gulfs, bays and the seas. Here is a satellite image of the earth. The continents. There are seven continents. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. The continents are separated by large water bodies. Asia is the largest continent and Australia is the smallest continent. Each continent is divided into many countries. Here is a map of the continents and the oceans of the world. First, let us see the continents. Here is our North America. Here we have South America. Here at the bottom, we have Antarctica. Over here, we have Australia, Africa, Europe and Asia. Now, let's see the oceans. This part has Arctic Ocean. Under that, we have North Pacific Ocean. And over here, we have South Atlantic Ocean. Here, we have Indian Ocean. Here, South Pacific Ocean. Antarctic Ocean and over here also South Pacific Ocean. The oceans. There are five oceans. They are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Antarctic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and the deepest ocean. It separates America from Asia and Australia. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean, which separates North and South America from Europe and Africa. The shape of the Earth. The Earth is spherical in shape. Long ago, it was believed that the Earth was flat. People believed that if we travelled to the edges, we would fall off. However, explorers like Ferdinand, Magellan and astronomers like Copernicus proved that the Earth was not flat. Photographs from the space and satellite images have also proved that the Earth is spherical in shape. Read to know. Hundreds of years ago, explorer Ferdinand Magellan sailed westwards. After three years, his ship returned to the same point. The ship he the ship had sailed around the world and proved that the earth is round. Let's move to globe. A globe is a round model of the earth. It represents the earth in a simple and accurate way. It not only shows the shape, size and location of the continents and water bodies, but also helps us to understand the earth's movement on its axis and around the sun. Through the globe has many advantages, it has certain disadvantages too. A globe shows only one side of the earth at one time. It cannot be carried easily from place to place. The details are not shown clearly because of the space limitation. 
Read to know. The word globe comes from the Latin word globus, meaning round mass or sphere. A Greek name Cretus is cre 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 credited with the making of the first globe around 150 BCE. Read to know. Gerardus Mer Mercator was the first to publish a collection of maps in a book from known as Atlas. Map The word map is derived from the Latin word mapu, which means a napkin. A map is a representation of the earth's surface or a part of it on a flat surface. A book of maps is called an atlas. Maps can be drawn on flat surface to show continent, countries, cities, neighborhoods and even marketplaces. At times, maps are more useful than globes. However, maps do have disadvantages. The earth is shaped like a sphere. Hence, the shape of the earth's surface is curved. A curved surface cannot be shown accurately on paper as paper has a flat surface. An orange is a perfect example of the earth. Now let us see how the surface of the earth orange is represented shown on a map. Mark two points on the orange. Peel the orange from the place in between the two points. In such a manner that the peel is a single piece. Now spread it on a table. You notice that the surface is not flat. It has creases. In addition, the two points that were the nearest are now the far furthest. Hence, maps cannot be as accurate as globes. But maps show more details, especially when a small area is being mapped. Let's move to types of map. There are different kinds of maps. Each kind gives different kinds of information. Political maps. These maps define or show political boundaries of countries, states, cities and other political divisions. Physical map. The maps shown physical features like mountains, valleys, plains, plateaus, rivers and other water bodies. Beside these, there are maps that show crops grown, mineral found in various places, rainfall in different areas, industries, population, transport, soil, natural resources, forest and wildlife. Here is a political map of India. Ooh. Language of maps. Every map has a language. In order to understand the information given on a map, we must know its language. Directions. There are four main directions. North, South, East and West. There are four sub-directions, northeast, southeast, northwest and southwest. The directions on the map are also shown by an arrow which is marked N. This indicates the north direction. It is easy to find other direction once we know where the north lies. All maps follow the same method to show directions. Look at the figure given alongside to understand the main directions and the sub-directions. Here you can see this arrow goes here and there is north. And under that we have south. In the left we have west. In the right we have east. Like this there is a compass given in the map. Now, look at the political map of India and write the name of one state each. In the north, in the east, in the south and in the west. You can tell us in the comments that which 
one is in the north, south, east and west in the political map. Scale. All maps are drawn to scale. This is because all maps drawn are not as large as the area they depict. Let us take an example to draw a map of a marketplace measuring 800 meter by 600 meter. It becomes very convenient if we if 10 meter is ris, represented by 1 centimeter. So that the map is just 80 centimeter by 60 centimeter. The scale would state 1 centimeter equals to 110 meter. The ratio between the distance on the ground and distance on the map is shown as the scale of map. Here is a scale. Distance on a map can also be measured with the help of a linear scale. This scale is shown as a straight line divided into units of length. When the distance between two places, for example Delhi and Kolkata, has to be measured, the procedure followed is as given below. Take a political map of India. Take a thread or a strip of paper. Measure the distance between Delhi and Kolkata on the map using a thread or a strip of paper. While measuring, put the thread straight from Delhi to Kolkata. The length of the thread or strip of paper between Delhi and Kolkata is the distance between the two cities. Now place the thread on a linear scale and calculate the actual distance. Colors. Maps show many colors. Each color shows a particular thing on a map. Usually, maps follow a common semi of colors. The table below shows the color and the physical features they represent. The color scheme is used for maps all over the world. Light blue shows shallow waters. Dark blue, deep waters. Green, lowlands or plains. Brown, higher lands than plains. Dark brown, highlands, hills and mountains. Yellow, desert and scrublands. Symbols. Every map has a key. This key consists of symbols and colors used in a map and what they dip. A map is not large enough to show mountains, lakes, rivers, bridges, temples and railway tracks. Various signs and symbols are used to give information. For example, a black dot is used to show a well or a tank. A land boundary of a country is shown by thick dashes and a city is marked by a small circle. In this table, we can see few signs and symbols. Boundary. International boundary it has this type of symbol. And state boundary has this type of symbol. District, this. Road. Metalled, unmetalled. This is a symbol for the railway track. This is a symbol for the fort. This is a symbol for the temple. This is a symbol of the telegraph office which is written as TO in capital. PS is for police station. Mosque has this symbol. Kran Church has this symbol. Well and tank has a black dot. Dam has this symbol. PO is as for post office. This is for a forest. Grass and shrubs. Town or village. Bridge and stream. Hence, we must realize the importance of maps. Maps are very useful to depict areas in details and also depict various physical and human-made features that help us to know more about places. Exercise Take the correct answer. The Dash Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean. The answer is Pacific Ocean. 
A dash is a model of the earth. The map, globe, scale, all of these. The answer is globe. Let's go to the multiple choice questions. Take the correct answers. Big land masses are called continents. Dash is the smallest continent. The answer is Asia. The earth is dash in shape. The answer is spherical. A physical map shows highlands such as mountains, water bodies, all of these or plains. The answer is all of these. Fill in the blanks. Map showing states and capitals are called as political map. A map is drawn on a flat surface. Maps are always drawn to flat surfaces. Dark brown is the color used to show mountains and hills on maps. Identify and write what each symbol stands for. This symbol stands for railway track. This symbol stands for dam. This symbol stands for mosque. This for forest. This for fort. And this for bridge. So I hope you enjoyed learning about maps and globes with me. And I hope you understood about the languages of map. The different kinds of maps. About globes and etc. To see you soon in a new video with Asta and Bansri. Until that, bye bye. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned about maps and globes with me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel Asta and Bansri. Click on the bell icon all notifications to get the notifications first whenever I upload a new video. See you soon with a new video in Asta and Bansri.